This is Kite Cutter TV with another presentation. We gotta talk about this. Okay, guys, an illegal African immigrant living in the United States is accused of being a serial killer who smothered and robbed elderly residents of a healthcare facility where he worked. Billy Chamurmur, a Kenyan national, was previously indicted and charged with murder of 12 elderly women and stealing their valuables, and this week he was charged in three more murders. On Tuesday, the suspected serial killer was charged in the death of three more women, ages 82, 86, and 90, all of whom were murdered at the Tradition Prestonwood Senior Living Community in Dallas. Check this out. A suspected serial killer has three new murder charges, bringing the deaths he is accused of causing to 17 in Dallas and Collin counties. Police say Billy Chamirmer killed residents at senior living facilities and stole their belongings. Fox 4's Natalie Solis has the update tonight. Natalie. Well, Steve, what's even more incredible, there are still other deaths that he could be linked to but hasn't been formally charged with. Joyce Abramowitz found dead June of 2016, Margaret White, August 2016, and Doris Wasserman found dead December 2017, the latest alleged victims of 48-year-old Billy Shamirmir. All three lived at the Tradition Prestonwood in North Dallas. The indictments for Shamirmir in all three cases describe the manner of death as smothering the deceased with a pillow and reference the use of a deadly weapon. The murders committed allegedly while burglarizing the victims. Shamir Mir is accused of posing as a maintenance worker or caregiver to gain access to several facilities in Dallas and Collin counties. The families of 82-year-old Abramowitz and 86-year-old White, along with others, suing in civil court as well, alleging tradition Prestonwood had poor security measures. The facility says in part, it's cooperated with all the authorities, and the allegations that staff withheld any information are absolutely false. The string of deaths sparking changes to state law. At least one uh, family that uh, found out on social media that their mom uh, may have been murdered by the serial killer. State Representative Jared Patterson of Frisco filed a bill that would require families to be notified if the medical examiner changes a death certificate as was the case with at least one of Shamir Mir's alleged victims when the ME revisited the case. It's my next door neighbor, actually. Um, she was telling me about uh, her mother who had passed away. Shamir Mir has not been indicted in that particular case, but Patterson says the hope is other families will also get closure. We need justice in every single case uh, that this person has been involved with. Now, we contacted Shamir Mir's attorney. So far, no response. Also, no comment on the prosecution timeline from Dallas County, but those cases will go ahead of the cases in Collin County. We're not going to leave any stone left unturned. Police across Dallas and Collin counties are worried they have a serial killer on their hands. He's under arrest in jail on a million dollar bond, and we are just learning about a possible string of crimes targeting the elderly. Billy Shamir Mir, 45, is accused of capital murder and attempted murder. So I got a call from a source saying, you're not gonna believe this, but we have a, a serial killer and he's been killing elderly people. And that was shocking at first, because um, at, at the beginning, we thought that there were maybe only um, two or three. And then we learned that there were dozens. In, in Dallas alone, our initial estimates is over 750 uh, elderly females that we're going to go back and review those cases. Police say they're looking into this man, Billy Shamirmir. For years, he's been posing as a home health care nurse or maintenance worker. They believe he's been attacking and possibly murdering elderly women and stealing their jewelry. He would take a pillow and suffocate them. So it was hard for the medical examiner's office to figure out that there was a pattern that he was suffocating these elderly women. It seems clear based on what we know that he was banking on them not doing full-blown autopsies. These are the faces of some of the women police believe were victims of a serial killer. Norma French was 85 years old. Doris Gleason was 92. Phyllis Payne was 91 years old. Phoebe Perry, 94. I mean, it's pretty horrific that a man would go and kill elderly women, vulnerable women that 
they just couldn't even defend themselves. And he, he suffocated them and he stole their jewelry. I mean, that to me is incredible. And so many of the families weren't sure because it looked like they had died of natural causes. So from some of these families, they didn't know for years. These are the faces of eight victims that lawyers say died at the hands of a serial killer in a swanky, high-priced assisted living facility. The horrific thought of what their loved ones went through the last moments of their lives when a stranger who is roaming around what's purportedly a safe and secure facility. A lot of times our reporting, we, we find the loopholes in the system. And what we saw in the Shamirmer case is a gaping loophole in the system where um, he is a, a, a allegedly able to kill all these people uh, and it go unnoticed for years. We really don't even know how many victims there have been. I think, you know, the true death toll uh, very much remains to be seen. I mean, it wasn't like they were they were ill. These women were um, still thriving when they were killed, but they just looked like they died of natural causes, so there was not as, a lot of suspicion. Two years later, her daughter says she was shocked when a Dallas police detective called to say they thought Phyllis had been murdered by a possible serial killer. It was heart-wrenching to find out that she had not died peacefully. I just... It's very heartbreaking. And that's why this story is so significant, is the magnitude of the pain and sorrow he caused so many victims and their families. My mom, uh, my mom was one of my very, very best friends. We talked every day. And I miss her a lot. He's going to be among one of the worst serial killers in our nation's history. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, God bless. Peace.